Hi guys! It's time to make Stefan special Hershey's chocolate cake. So I've got my bowl, I've got everything out here that I need. Hopefully it's everything. I've got my mixer. I've already got everything, uh, the eggs out to room temperature. Oh honey, we gotta make sure everything passes inspection. They're coming Wednesday. Wednesday, she's coming to do the inspection on the house. So I have my bowl here for my cake stuff. I have this bowl here for the frosting. I have this is full of, I want to say four and a half ounces of Hershey's chocolate. And I got the miniatures so I can break them up really small. So I've got regular Hershey's and I've got Hershey's with almonds. So half and half in here. And we're going to melt this down. I've got my eggs room temperature already. And I'm not going to need my powdered sugar because I thought we had cream cheese. I was going to do a cream cheese frosting for this cake, but I'm out. And we already just came back from town and we don't want to go again. So I am going to improvise and we are going to use this whipped topping here. So it, it was in the freezer. I'm going to let it thaw out and then I'm going to add some cocoa to that. And a little bit, a tablespoon of chocolate jello is going to go in that as well. So we're going to make it work. What is for? Um, it would be in the Dollar Tree bag or the bag over there. <laughs> oh, there goes Brian. He meant to say hi to you guys. Oh, hi. <clears throat> so let me put this powdered sugar away because I don't want to use it. I don't want to use it. So the next cake that I make, I'm going to try my best to make it keto friendly. Um, it'll probably be gluten free, sugar free as much as possible. So we'll get started. So I've just got a regular devil's food chocolate cake mix here. It says super moist. We'll see about that. We're going to make it moist either way. So I've got my butter in the microwave melting. So we're going to add all our dry ingredients first. And I wish I had my shop sharper knife or scissors I found some right here okay I don't know if you all can see let me move this stuff around a little bit <clears throat> all right so we've got our cake mix in here So I'm going to add, I'm going to get a fork too. Well, I've got my little uh, mixer here, but I need a little fork just to work out the clumps for our dry ingredients. Stefan is really looking forward to this cake. So I'm trying to do the best I can with what I have. And we will make it work. <clears throat> so to this, I'm going to add one cup of coconut flour. I'm adding another cup of flour because this pan right here, I have kind of a big pan and I want to fill it up. I don't want it to be a skimpy cake. I want it to be a full full cake. So that's why I add another cup of flour to it. Plus the coconut flour smells so good. Well, especially if you like coconut like I do. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. So I've got my full cup of coconut flour. Hi, honey. I got my sweetness right Stop here. It. <laughs> 
Yes, chocolate, 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 which I need no, to. No, 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 coconut. I gotta buy some more. No. Yes. So, I thought I was gonna move these. I better move them for good out here. Go. Just working out the clumps again. Got one chocolate cake mix, one cup of coconut flour. Okay, and then we got our jello, um, our chocolate pudding instant pie mix. Now, out of this. Oops, <clears throat> so out of this, I'm going to reserve a tablespoon for our topping. I'll grab my tablespoon here. This is for the whipped cream topping. Let's put that right in there like that. The rest goes in the cake mix. Yummy, yummy. Although me and Brian, Brian and I are not going to be trying this because we were at the hospital last night. He had like um, high blood pressure for two days and he had a headache going along with that. So we went to Enlo last night and we stayed there pretty late. So <clears throat> that's why I slept in this morning. Didn't make it to church this morning because I slept in, but we ch he checked out. They fixed him up right away, so he was good. They just gave him some, I think, Toradol to help with his headache. And we came home pretty late last night, but at least we know he's good. He's good, and he's feeling better. But for him, it's a wake-up call to try to eat better for me as well. So even though I'm doing the keto, he's not exact. He's not doing keto, but he's being more aware of what he eats and being more picky now. <clears throat> so he's like, no, I'm not eating no chocolate cake. And I'm like, I'm not eating no chocolate cake. It's too many carbs. Um, <clears throat> so the, the box directions now, um, it calls for a cup of water. I'm going to use a cup of milk. It calls for a half a cup of vegetable oil. We're going to use butter instead. And it calls for three eggs. I'm going to add two more um, because I added the extra cup of flour. <clears throat> I added that extra cup of um, coconut flour. So I'm going to add a little more stuff. But first, I want to get all our dry ingredients incorporated here. Try to get the clumps out, get them all mixed together. And we're still not done. I'm going to add a little bit of that Hershey's cocoa in here too. Even though it's already got cocoa in here and I can smell it, it smells really good. This is Stefan's chocolate, 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 chocolate cake. So I'm just going to add a little bit more. <clears throat> I don't know if there's any such thing as too chocolatey. <laughs> I don't know about that, guys. But we're going to give it our best shot. So I've got my jello mix in here, my pudding mix. I've got the cake mix. I've got my coconut flour. <clears throat> okay, so what else do we need? I'm going to open up the cocoa right now. So this is 100% cocoa, natural, unsweetened, certified organic, and it's Hershey's. So we're going to do probably, mm, I love the smell. We're going to do a couple 
tablespoons. There we go. A couple of tablespoons and for the um, whipped topping, we're going to add one tablespoon. For now, we'll see how far that gets us. <clears throat> I'm going to clear my throat quite often here. Okay. So I'm going to take this cocoa and mix it in with the rest of this stuff here. So, so yeah, for those of you who love chocolate cake, Yummy, yummy. So I think I got this pretty well incorporated here. I'm going to throw this box away. Okay, so I've got one cup of butter here. I've got my eggs. Now I've got to stick this chocolate in. I'm just going to put a little bit of butter, not much, and I'm going to stick this in the microwave. Only about a minute. Um, maybe you guys can see if you're closer this way. Let's try, let's try this. Hi, Lisa. All right. Making a chocolate cake for my kiddo. Just trying to rearrange it to where you guys can see a little better. There we go. I think you can see that much better. <clears throat> so I added a regular chocolate cake mix to this. Um, chocolate pudding. We reserved a tablespoon for our frosting. Our topping. And I put two tablespoons of Hershey's cocoa in there and one cup of coconut flour because we're adding to it so it could fit in the big pan. So I'm just making sure our, all of our dry ingredients are mixed in well. I think we got this covered. I think we do. I think we do. So I think it's all well incorporated there. Okay, and so and I've got my cup of butter and I'm melting my chocolate right now. It's not melted yet. I gotta put it on. So I put it in there for another minute or so. And I'm just gonna kind of clean as I go. So it gets so messy. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is go ahead and add our wet ingredients. So I'm going to add a cup of melted butter. Nice cream combination there. Whoops. Okay, and I'm going to add our eggs and I'll let these sit out for room temperature. I know I really shouldn't be doing it over. I'm going to just keep this here. It's my little trash bowl. I just did my nails too, so... They're very pretty. Yeah, I just did my nails, so they're getting covered in ooey gooey stuff. Aren't they pretty? I did the jewels this time. Jewels. I like them. Okay, I got one more here. There we go. This is the last one. So I'm using two more eggs, like I said, because I'm using another cup of flour. We want to make sure it stays moist. So that's why I do that. <clears throat> now, I thought I had cream cheese. I was going to make cream cheese frosting, but 
I'm completely out. So I am going to use whipped topping and I'm adding, I've already added the cocoa, a tablespoon of cocoa powder and a tablespoon of the pudding, chocolate pudding mix. So hopefully that will work out. And then my chocolate, I have Hershey's chocolate melting in the uh, microwave right now. This still needs to be it's still somewhat frozen, so we'll let that do its thing. I'm going to lift it up a little bit. Maybe that'll help. Okay, so I got this all ready to be mixed up. Ready to go. Hope I got those on there good. Looks like chocolate pudding to me. <laughs> Very chocolatey. Look at that. It's just sticking to it. It's so chocolatey. Let me get the right like spoon you look thing. <clears throat> I think my chocolate is Ooh, that's hot. So I just put a little touch of butter in here to kind of help it along to melt. And it's pretty much I just gotta move it around and it's good. So I'm just gonna set this out. Might have to reheat it in a little while, but that's okay. Okay, now let's get going. Oh, you know what? I need to add my milk. I thought it was a little dry. So I got this cute little, I don't know if you've seen it, but my daughter got it for me. It has hummingbirds on it. It's a little measuring cup. I thought it was so cute. I love hummingbirds. So she did really good. <laughs> she did really good on that one. Yeah, I think it calls for water, a cup of water, but we're going to do a cup of milk. Definitely need this milk in there, that's for sure. So we'll get this going. All right, let's get this started again. I'm pretty brave. I'm not wearing my apron or anything, so I'm going to be one chocolate mess, but I am wearing brown, so maybe nobody will tell. Because the box itself calls for one cup, so I'm going to do another half a cup. We'll see how that plays out. See how this holds up here. Yeah, we his birthday already come and pass on the third. So um he's just having a little party get together tomorrow, so I wanted to get the cake the cake done for him. Since on his birthday he just had a cupcake. <laughs> Bought cupcakes for him, so 
I didn't make any, I just bought it for them. I got some loose powder down here. Another spatula for the Hershey's chocolate. Let's cool down the bowl a little bit, not too much, but see, it just needs to be moved around a little bit. But this has a little bit of almonds in it. I did half regular, half almonds. So it's nice and melted. Okay, so I think this guy is ready to go. It's a little thicker because of all that pudding, but that's okay. One chocolatey cake. It looks like fudge. Look at that. So dark. Of course, I added more cocoa to it and all that good stuff. Okay, so I've already greased. I already buttered, spray buttered my, my pan. So I'm going to go ahead and dump this in. And dump it in. And so with this cake, because of all the um, stuff we have in it, I'll probably have to move it around a little bit. It smells so good. And like I said, I'm not going to eat any of it because I'm trying to stay good on that keto diet. Um... I just started it, and when I weighed myself the first time, I lost four pounds, and I am still haven't budged from the four pounds. I'm still, you know, at the same spot, so I'm hoping maybe by tomorrow or the next day when I weigh myself again, I come down at least a pound or so for, for dessert for Brian and I. We just had... Both of us had two sugar-free little uh, candies, the um, the peppermint, I think, peppermint patty and the coconut one. They kind of cure that sweet, sweet tooth without eating too much and all that sugar and stuff. So this is a real deal for Stefan, though. Real good chocolate goodness here. Okay. So I'm just moving it around evenly and then I'm going to place it in the Oven, 354, or I might do 375. I've been doing 375 on all my cakes. They've been turning out fine, but. Yep. So there we go. I'm just licking it off, but look. So that's what it looks like. I'm going to put this in the oven. I'm going to get started on our, um, I'll flip this around, and we can get started on our, our whipped topping for it. 
So I'm going to do the upper oven, bake, and start. And I'm going to put it, oh yeah, it's at 350. Let me take this out. It's going to be in there. Okay, and I'm going to leave it in there for about, I'm going to check it after um, 45 minutes or so, but it should be done in an hour. I'm just going to wash my hands real quick. Okie dokie. I'm going to put this thing in this milk up. I don't need that anymore. Okay, now I gotta put this in the sink. I made a little mess over here. Oh my goodness. Look at that. <sighs> yep, 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 yep. Okay, that's raw egg. I'm just washing this down the sink real quick. Okay. And I do have to wash these guys so I can um Start on my whip topping. Okay, here is our mixing bowl for our topping. And like I said, I already have the cocoa and a little bit of jello in there. And these guys, I'm just going to eject. Okay, I said eject and it's not, they're not coming out. Because it's still plugged in, I don't know. I'm going to put them over here on the, in the sink here. There they go. And I got them in here in this bowl. Give me a quick wash. Can't use these. Here. Gotta wash them up real quick. Okay. There's one. There's the other one. Honey, what time do you got? 624. Oven, that's why I asked. Thank you. All right. Wash these guys. All right, those are good. Grab my mixer. All right. So my stuff might still be frozen, but if so, we'll just have to take it out and then rework with it again. How you been, Lisa? How you doing? You know, I used to go to your mom's, um, your mom's little um, lingerie parties years and years ago. It's been a while. She's such a fun lady. Okay, um, I've got this, this. All right, tea. It's still, it's still what you call frozen. Oh, I might have to stick it in the microwave for a minute. I just don't want to liquefy it, but maybe a 30 second thing. It's like ice cream.
more I just go around the sides, the more looser it is. very exhausting. I had to take um, Brian to the hospital. Cause yeah, we both have high blood pressure, but we were freaking out. He had a headache to go with it. So they checked him out and they said he was good. So we came home, but it was kind of late. I'm glad he's okay. Yeah, it's almost all the way melted here. Like I said, I don't want it to turn into just cream. <laughs> we got to keep it whipped. I'm glad, I'm thankful I had this whipped cream because if I didn't, we would really be scrambling to find something to put on the cake. We would have to wait until tomorrow and go to the store and do all that and I'm just like, no, I don't want to do that. Because we already have um, plans for tomorrow. But I'm glad he told me. He said he didn't want real sweet frosting anyway, so hopefully this will be a lighter, lighter version. Just just a little bit. Feels like ice cream. See that? She just ran around the room whining. Why? Because she wanted to go to the bathroom. Oh, you let her outside? Yep. She immediately ran Okay. There we go. So I know I got some all over me. It never fails. But we're almost done with this. All right, handy dandy mixer. Let's get to going. My oven is right now preheated. She just let me know. We're re whipping the whipping cream, guys.
with this up, I'm going to stick it in the refrigerator because I don't want it to die down on me. I want to keep it somewhat cool. Alright. Now I'm just going to do a taste test because, yeah, that's very necessary. Mmm. It's chocolatey, but not too chocolatey. Now, I was going to put this melted um, Hershey's chocolate in the other cream cheese frosting. I don't think I'll add it to this. I don't know. I could, but then I thought, well, maybe I'll just layer it on the cake first and then put the whipped cream on there. But there isn't, a, like, a whole lot. So... I don't know. I'm just going to try a little bit. It is cooled down some, so it's not um, so hot that it's going to melt everything down. Just going to add a little bit. Yep, I think I'll just keep adding it. it. Seems to be doing well if I do it a little bit at a time. I'm coming, Kyra. Do a little bit on everywhere else. Can't call it a Hershey's cake without Hershey's everywhere, right? Definitely thickening it up a little bit. And it does have a little bit of almonds in there too, so I want to make sure everything is well incorporated. that was but mm -mm -mm. this is all I get okay it's definitely chocolatey you could taste the chocolate bar in here mm. it's nice and fluffy and creamy make sure I don't stick my finger in there but look at that does that look good it's got a little tan color so, I am going to stick this in the refrigerator, make sure it stays cool until it's time to come out. So, there it be. You get, um, I'm just going to get a plate to cover that. Sometimes grabbing a plate and covering it's just so much quicker and easier than grabbing saran wrap. So this is going into the refrigerator. I just got to make room in my refrigerator. Let's get this towel. All right. What can I move around? The bread usually goes down here. 
goes down there, cheese goes down here, and you got the milk, the sodas, cheese can go down here, and you give this a quick wipe. go. Now I'll get on the big big old bandwagon here and start cleaning my whole refrigerator. <laughs> All right, so I got it in the refrigerator. I think that's it turned out great. I didn't have cream cheese for a reason. I had to try something different and new. So, but I have gotten uh, four and a half ounces of Hershey's, Hershey's chocolate. Um, so half of it was just normal uh, Hershey's chocolate. The other half was with almonds. I wanted to try that. And I'm going to give Brian one of these. I can get him out. There we go. Hold on one second. He's going to be like a kid in a candy store. Where you at, babe? There you go. Just lick it. Just lick it. Honey, it's better than having the whole cake. Is it yummy with frosting? With the cream of the chocolate? He's not answering me. Is it good? Yeah. Okay, he said it was good. The first time he just kept licking like this. And he wouldn't answer me. Mm. I know I'm cheating right now, but I'm not cheating a whole lot, right? <laughs> I don't know how many carbs this is, but I hope I still lose pounds. You know, Honey, eat all this. Huh? Look how her face is all white. Where's she at? Look. I'll take you with me. Where's she at? Oh, the dog is licking it. I'm not supposed to have it. I tasted it. It was good, but she's a... Well, she's not going to die from it. Turn on the light. It's They're dark in here. I'm going to turn on the light. It's dark in here in the living room. I like it dark in here. I know, but people can't see our dog. Oh, there's no light. Yeah, see, I'll even just turn the heater on. Oh, there we go. So there's Kyra. She's so enjoying that. My name. She's her enjoying it. was all plastered white. She can really have bad. the rest of this one if it's not going to hurt her. Yeah, I don't want her to have too much. <laughs> I already looked a little bit on there. Oh. <laughs> she likes what Daddy bought her. She's all, this is so good, Daddy. Jane That's not going to hurt her, though, is it? No, it's a stick I bought her. I bought no, her no, the, the chocolate. That has chocolate in it. That's why I don't want her to have any more. Oh, okay. She can't have chocolate. Oh, but she's it's looking. Not pure chocolate. No, I mixed it in with the whipped cream, but it has cocoa powder in it. So I just don't want her to get. She, look at her. She's begging for it, though. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Can you see? There you go. She's licking that as much as he is. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. You got so, it on your sweater, baby. Of course I do. He says I got it on my sweater. Of course I do. I'm always getting stuff all over me. I'm just going to put these in here. So, we've got the, um, I'm going to put these in here. Let them soak. And I'm going to put all this stuff. Stefan's got his phone and Jeremy to watch the movie, so they're both very, very hot. So what I'm going to do, Lisa, I'm going to get off here for now, and I'm going to come back on when the cake is done, and then we're going to frost it together, because it's going to take about an hour, 45 minutes or so. And I'm also going to, um, I'm going to post a, the, um, the recipe. <laughs> I can't think and talk at the same time. But anyway... Yeah, we'll I'd soon. like to uh, just Very pause soon. the video and come back, but they don't allow you to do that on, on live video. So, I will be back.
All right. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. All right. Bye-bye.